I'm Dennis Felton. I'm an assistant basketball coach at the University of Tulsa. Well, I coach for uh, several reasons. Uh, number one, I love having a chance to be a part of young men's lives in a real important period in their life where they're developing as people and um, basically putting together uh, a career, you know, putting together a future for themselves. And then the other reason is for competitive reasons. Just, I, uh, I just love being a part of, uh, you know, fierce competition and trying to figure out how night in and night out, how to, how to win a game. I started my coaching career as a player. And then as I got, you know, to play at the higher level, the college level, I didn't play as much, but I remained a student of the game, thinking about how this game works with, you know, with 10, game, 10 players together on the court. Well, as a, as a head coach, I was a defensive-minded coach. I, I think all head coaches have their strengths and weaknesses. A couple of my strengths were, uh, number one, I really, you know, I really felt good about my ability to lead people. Uh, number two, um, you know, really felt good about teaching the game and preparing teams and knowing that we could take the floor with a lot of confidence, knowing we were the best prepared team. He has a very good, you know, pre-game scouting report that he uh, runs us through. And, but during the games, you know, he'll see something and he'll, you know, the big on the court will make a mistake and he'll quickly run over to the other bigs, you know, myself, Martins or TK or, and, you know, he'll quickly explain how to beat that next time, you know, like, uh, where where to be positioned, where you know where to be on the court, just um, being ready, seeing everything. He taught me to retreat more, playing defense on ball instead of trying to cut a person off. If you cut somebody off, it could be a foul. Retreating gives me more angles, like angles to stop the guy. It helps us by we don't they don't have to help as much, uh, knowing that that person can stay in front of the ball and they can kind of stay with theirs and help me out still at the same time. With me, it starts and ends with defense because I think to win consistently, to win the big games, and, and to win championships, you have to guard, you have to stop. Coach Haith, you know, brought me aboard to really concentrate on that side of the ball for us, which is perfect for me, I love it. The competitive uh, part really, really comes out. And, uh, you know, I've, I've always had this dream of being able to pitch a shutout for at least a half of basketball. I haven't quite gotten there, but I've gotten, you know, close a few times as, as a head coach. I just love the feeling of uh, shutting people down. And when you think about it from a competitive standpoint, what makes an opponent, you know, hate playing against you more? Scoring on them or not allowing them to ever even get a sniff of a good shot and shutting them down? I'm still learning in warp speed being with Frank Haith. And I can tell you this about him, he, he's brilliant. He's the best offensive coach I've ever been around. He has a great offensive mind. He has a great eye. He, he's, he's able to see a lot of things at once on the court. Um, and he's able to make adjustments on the fly like no other coach I've ever been around. He's able to find a way to put each one of his players in a position to be successful offensively like no one else I've been around. People that are close to me definitely know, but people that don't you know, know me intimately would not know that I am a die-hard Parliament Funkadelic guy. And you know, most people watching this you know, we'll have to Google it. They, you know, they might not even know what it is, but uh, Parliament Funkadelic is a band. Uh, you know, in my in my opinion, the greatest band of all time. And uh, and I grew up on on P Funk. And uh, for me, it's it's more than just uh, a music that I enjoy. It's kind of a it's kind of a way of life that I enjoy. And, and I've been fortunate enough to become good friends with George Clinton who is the godfather of P-Funk and, you know, to have a chance to spend a lot of time with him and, you know, hanging out, you know, with the band and all that. If I could do anything else in the world other than coach, if you gave me a choice, man, let me be, let me be a, you know, a, you know, a member of the funk mob <laughs> and, uh, you know, be talented enough to play one of those instruments or something and just uh, be, be a part of Parliament Funkadelic.